What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Stats are looking good, and we are oh, way. ready to mosey on out. Um, so I, I went ahead and Googled the flashlight, because I was like, I don't think there's batteries in this game. And uh, sure enough, the flashlight, Too much stuff to carry. it only works during the uh, during the lights, the Aura Aura Borealis. Uh, so we're just going to leave that behind, because fuck that. Uh, but I still need to lose weight. Now, I'm, I'm convinced there's going to be a tie-off point, probably. So that's that'll get dropped shortly. But even then, I'm still kilo and a half over. I mean, fuck it. Let's, let's drop most of our wood. I need enough wood to start a fire if it's like an emergency. Um, and then... There we go. Just drink, drink a can of soda. That'll put us underweight. All right. So first things first, we got to find a tie-off point because that's five on our weight capacity right there. Like, I mean, it doesn't make sense that there's rope if there's not a tie-off point. So the question is just, where is it at? That kind of looks like it might be it. Usually it's the, the big rocks like this. Yes. Awesome. We'll hit this. And there we go. That fixes our sprain risk. And let's get down the mountain. And it's like a two-way, so, you know, we can always, uh, use that to go back up if need be. What? Sprain risk again? What? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, where am I at? What are we dropping here? Don't have all, all the clothing I'm wearing I have is on. Uh. Uh. You know what? Drop that. Drop that. Um, 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 um. I don't want to drop anything. I like all this stuff. I'm only at point, point three. This stuff. There we go. Alright, we just gotta shoot straight on back. Alright. Apparently, you could use the flashlight to scare wolves away, but kind of like, uh, I have a gun. And flares. 11 bullets in this. 12 in the flares. What the hell is going on with our weight? Our weight... That's so weird. Our weight keeps going up. As we change things, our weight is going up. That's some bullshit, dude. I dropped all my wood. Ooh. Whatever. Let's moosey. I mean, if I wasn't journeying to the middle of nowhere, I could probably, uh, probably leave stuff behind. I even Googled. I was like, you know, why is the weight suck so bad? And people are like, when you journey in this game, you must only bring what is necessary. If you are hunting, take your gun. If you are getting wood, bring the hatchet. I'm like, well, that doesn't fucking help for, uh, for the story mode where I need, like, everything. Apparently, there's like a moose satchel thing you can get, but you have to first find a moose, then kill a moose, which, the way everyone was talking about it, it sounds like it's just insane, like 10 to 15 bullets to kill a moose, and then you gotta like wait 10 days, and then you can use the moose satchel to get 5 extra weight, and I'm like, eh, sounds like a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of shit I don't want to do. So we will just trudge along with our uh, 35 weight carry capacity and hope the things work out. Oh, there's a cashier. Um, well, you know what? I'm like right here. I'm, I'm literally right here. Let me just, uh, just find the cash. 
practice it. I've been looking for you. Uh, matches, accelerant. How are those worker gloves? Are those good? Clothing. They are trash. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Well, we're gonna. I just want that. Uh, want those fire logs? Because once we get back over here, we're gonna start a fire. I just, I hate the sprain risk, you know? I could understand if you were, if, if you were like, you know, 10, 15 pounds over, that's one thing, all right? Sprain risk, yes, definitely. There's a definite risk, of, you know, but, but carrying just like a kilogram, a single kilo overweight, like, come on, man. Fire barrel, it's, uh, This might not even work. I'm trying to start a fire with a log almost never works. You need to have like something better. You know, you put the logs in after the fire's going, but come on. Big money, no whammy. Nope. Why didn't that work? Probably because we're trying to start with a fucking log. Should have used some accelerant. Well, there we go. Add that on in. Alright, so now that that's going... Um, let's see, it's supposed to do... Our, our 34.92. Um... That guy... Her was the there's got to be like a, a a forge, but I haven't seen anything around here that even remotely resembles a forge. throw it out in a second, but I will, uh, there we go, alright, now where's that jerry can at, drop that, It's only 0.17. I should keep that. No, I don't need it. Wait, we're still overweight? What the shit? I swear to God, I just can't win. Oh, because the weight transferred to there. Well, that makes sense. Um, fuck it. We're just going to be overweight. This is where I was supposed to go, right? Man killing bears on the prowl. Risking Mackenzie's mission. Da 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 da. Let's hit J. Pair the broken spear at the forge. At the forge? Do I just need to use like a workbench? I mean, this is like, it, it's like maintenance stuff. There's nothing here that makes me think, oh yeah, we can definitely forge a spear. Oh, I gotta be overlooking something. Maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's outside. This looks forge-like. Hey, there we go. All right, um... I 
95% success chance. Let's do it. That should do it. Right? But, oh, cool. Do you just auto heat this bitch up? If so, that's nice. Let's oh, do this. We, we do. We didn't even need to, uh, Coal for days. That's a little janky, to be honest. Like, they should have made you, like, you know, actually focus on getting the fire up to that temp with the coal. What? A heavy hammer? Scrap metal? Where the hell do I get a heavy hammer from? I got fish and stuff. Well, oh, right there. That also weighs a ton. Um, and I need two scrap metal, so... Oh, quality tools. Where are my shit tools at? I had shit tools. I want to throw them out. Harvest. Boom. I'm going to have to leave something behind. Craft the spear of the gods to slay the bear. Guess I can add blacksmith to my growing list of skills. Bear spear. Let's hope I don't have to put this spear to the test. And uh, uh drop. Well, actually, I might still need that. If we we're unlocking a bunch of stuff, let me uh improvise knife. Improvised knife, improved hatchet. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Oh, improvised hatchet. Yeah, never mind. We don't want that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Leave this here. And I need that. I mean, I haven't found. I don't. I don't think I've used the the pry. I think I've used my pry bar maybe once. So. This, I, I just used once for the first time. You, I need. You, I need. I think that's, that's good. I just say go back to siege or, oh. Fucking Christ. A long journey is what this should be called. A long ass journey back is what we're about to be doing. Well, at the very least, we will wait until daytime. Thankfully, it doesn't look like the spear takes up any weight. If it does, I don't see it here. <sighs> Got one reclaimed wood, accelerant. I really wish I had more, uh, more fire supplies. It's almost nighttime. We're gonna sleep, get back to daytime, remove all fatigue. Hypothermia risk? What? Dude. Oh, because I didn't light a fucking fire? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Goddamn freezing. I don't remember that stuff being here before. Alright, well let's let's address our problems one at a time. First, drink on up. Just getting a fire going real fast. Warm things up. Oh, I need fuel. Forty 
35 minutes to break that down. Pallet, perfect. Just gonna get our temp up. While our temp gets up, let's start eating. Actually, food. Well, no, I got those crackers. The crackers do a pretty good job. But, um, that's that's one thing I don't have a lot of right now. I need food. My guy's gonna starve on this journey if I don't have something. Oh, no, I have, I have the mega milk. Milk is, like, a fuckload of calories. So that should help a little bit. And, all right, we have enough things to start at least one fire. How much does coal weigh? This coal really gets that heat up. 0.3 kilos. Now we'll keep only two. Um, and hypothermia risk. Find some place warm before hypothermia develops. Dude. This is someplace warm. Do I need to just wait it out? I mean, is the hypothermia meter, like, go down? Because I don't want to... I don't want to go out into the damn place with hypothermia. Is there a bed in one of these things? I need to find, uh... This will come in handy. Oh, yes. Perfect. There's some food. Alright, we are well fed. Hypothermia is gone. Let's go. Our weight is just barely below. I could even bring along... Um, could even bring some extra wood. Let me get some extra wood. Six. Where's the plank? Plank. Nine minutes. It's perfect. journey begins. Probably make it back to like the halfway point before the end of this episode. here for a half second. Should have done that first. Coming up on the landslide. Oh no, we got the locomotive first. Oh yeah, that's right, this was flipped. Shit. Well, hang on, I don't think I can go this way.
Wait, maybe. Let me go around the front and see if it allows me to hop in. I don't think it will. But maybe. Just maybe. Go like this way. Oh, wait. Oh, come on, game. See, this is why you need a hop. Alright, there we go. I don't know if you were supposed to be able to do that, but fuck it. <laughs> Made it through. Weather could be a little bit better, but mild storm, two temps down, that's, uh, that's doable. We can certainly manage with that. Unless the game has decided to add some surprise wolves into the mix, the only real red is going to be uh, passing the landslide, which I wonder, I might be able to, I might be able to get over the landslide from this direction. Because that tree, I might be, I'm thinking I can walk up this tree, or maybe even straight right here. Save a lot of time if we can just cross right through. So we skip the whole, the whole uh, going down and dealing with the wolves and yeah, looks like we are awesome. All right, and that is one zone conquered. It's just a straight run on back. In the next zone, I don't really remember there being anything there. It was basically just like a desolate, open land where we just followed the uh, the rail tracks, and that was it. There's nothing there. I don't think I'll make it all the way back to uh, to the hunter this episode, but in the very least. I think I can make it uh, back to my, my little safety zone, which I'll probably need to go that far anyway. The little spot where I basically saved my life in uh, one of those prior episodes where I was like freezing, couldn't make a fire, and found that train car that was open. So I'm going to have to stop there to, to get my temp back up and probably rest because with all the sprinting I'm doing... Uh, exhaustion is uh, definitely building up semi-quickly. And it's a little bit past the halfway mark, so let's see if we can get there. Wondering if he catches his breath. Looks like he moved. He, he regains his stamina at the same speed whether he's walking or standing. Now, I think the most impressive part of this journey back is we have been able to just shortcut the shit out of it. I mean, we, we found the rope point, 
to come down from the house. We managed to jiggle our way past the area where the, uh, the bear flipped the train car. We managed to climb back over the landslide. Like, just all that stuff alone cut out a massive amount of roundabout that we had to do before. Well, the train car flip didn't cut out roundabout, but there would have been a roundabout if we weren't able to jimmy our way up there. But other than that, I mean, this is smooth sailing. I mean, I figure the train tracks are, are going to be the, the safer area because, you know, it, it, it is at least some type of civilized structure. And there's the telephone poles. But still, I mean, this has been a, a cakewalk, you know? No wolves, no bear. Walking simulator 101, basically. Hunger is holding well. Thirst is holding well. We got the train cars up ahead. Do, 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 do. Uh, I think after this episode, though, I'm going to... Take me a break and get some lunch. Hungry. Where are we at? Exactly there. I remembered. I forgot to take the uh, forgot to take the wolf meat that I was cooking at the house. That house just smells like gamey burnt wolf now. I tactically left that wolf there because I knew I was going to need food on the way back. semi. Nope, this is it. It's got a... There it is. Alright, excellent. Alright, let's start a fire. Um, we'll save our accelerant. make some coffee. No, oh, damn it. I'm going to add fuel. Um seven minutes, so I'm going to sleep for an hour once the coffee's done. I 
I'll get my warmth up to peak. A little bit of sleep plus the coffee should address my fatigue. Uh, where'd my coffee go? That did help the fatigue a little bit, but... Uh, take that. We're gonna sleep for like two more hours. And we're actually gonna wrap up here. Just notice throughout like 20 minutes. Um, but, so I'm gonna... We're gonna camp another two hours just to, uh... Get rid of the fatigue altogether. Uh, and then we'll make our way back. And we will meet up with the hunter bro in the next episode. So, stay tuned and I'll see you guys then.